गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस टुडे विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक वन ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट लॉन्ग वायर एंटीनास एंड द यागुड एंटीना एंड दिस टॉपिक इज टेक इज फॉर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन आई एम मिस्टर हिमांशु नागपुर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एके गाजियाबाद सो the first topic of the uh, today's uh, pr uh, presentation that is first one is the long wire antennas what are the long wire antennas long wire antennas are the antennas which have a wavelength greater than or equal to half wavelength means the antenna length is more than half wavelength or its multiple that will, that multiple will be the integer means the antenna which having a wavelength length of antenna having wavelength greater than n into me lambda by 2 and this n can be a integer clear yeah. so that type of antennas are known as the long wire antennas so there are two types of long wire antennas first one is the resonant type long wire antennas and another one is the non resonant type long wire antennas so first one is the if i talk about the uh, long wire resonant antenna another one is the long wire non resonant antennas you will see here this one is the transmission line that is the source from which the signal is transmitted into the to the antenna terminals and uh, so the antenna one end of the antenna terminals and this one is the act as a antenna and this is a stand this will do so if the this length is greater than the lambda by 2 then this type of antenna is known as the long wire antenna now you will see the difference between the resonant and type of antenna and the non resonant and type of antenna that in the resonant antenna there is no terminal impedance there is no terminal impedance and in the non resonant type of antenna there is a terminal impedance is there is a presence of terminal impedance and this terminal impedance helps in the impedance matching and when there is a impedance matching it means that there is no standing waves will exist no standing waves exist so this one is the impedance this terminal impedance help in the impedance matching and due to the impedance matching there is no standing waves will exist no standing waves will exist and in the non in the resonant type of antennas no prop no proper impedance matching as there is no terminal impedance this results in the existence of standing waves and due to the standing wave existence the radiation pattern of this type of antenna is the bidirectional and here due to the proper impedance matching no standing wave exist there will be a radiation pattern is the unidirectional unidirectional radiation pattern clear 
So you will see here that if the wave is traveling like, like this one, when there is no terminal impedance matching, the, the, there will be a existence of standing waves, means this wave will get reflected back and the standing wave will exist and here that due to the presence of terminal impedance, the signal wave propagate and no, no standing wave will exist. So, long wire antennas of two types that is resonant type of antenna that is term unterminated and the non resonant type, type of antenna that are the terminated. You will see the difference that resonant antennas are those in which the standing waves exist. I have already told you and absence of terminal impedance means there is no matching between the, there is no impedance matching and the radiation pattern therefore, the radiation pattern is the bi-directional. When the radiation pattern is bi-directional and the standing wave exists means the there will be presence of both incident and the refracted wave will occur. Clear? Means the wave which is get incident that there, if there is a presence of the standing wave exists, means the refracted wave will also exist. Now, in the non resonant type of antennas, I have already told you that the wave moves in the forward direction. So, do not form a do, do not form a standing wave due to the presence of the terminal impedance. And due to the presence of terminal in the forward direction, the radiation pattern is the bi direction as the radiative wave which moves for in the forward direction only, which means that there is a presence of only incident wave. You can say that if I want to convert the, if I want to have a unidirectional antenna, means I can have a, I should have a terminal impedance. If I want a unidirectional antenna, unidirectional radiation pattern, there, there, there should be a terminal impedance. So, the, uh, these are the examples of the, of long wire antennas. First one is the, first one is the, first one is the V type of antenna and this name this name represents the its shape of the antenna it is a the antenna shape is in the v shape means if i say this is one of the this is one of the antenna and this is another antenna means two one of the long wire antenna and this is another long wire antenna and if they both are connected in the v shape then the overall antenna is known as the v antenna let us say if I say this is a antenna which is having a wavelength greater than the lambda by 2 and this is the antenna which is having a wavelength equal or greater than the lambda by 2. If these they both are the individually long wire antennas, if I say they both are connected in the V shape, then this type of antenna is known as a V antenna. Clear? Now you can see that there is a absence of the terminal impedance means the radiation pattern will be a bi direction means overall radiation pattern will be a bi direction this one is the transmission line which is providing a source to the this type of antenna and this angle between this v shape means this alpha is if i say the alpha between the alpha is the angle between that v shape that is known as the apex angle this apex angle alpha mainly determines the or helps in mainly help in determining the overall radiation pattern of antenna. Means you can say this is a, if I say this is a whole antenna and the overall radiation pattern mainly depends on the length of this antenna and also the angle between the two that is the apex angle. As I already told you that this, if I say this is an antenna and this antenna is having a wave, having a wavelength greater than lambda by 2 means it radiation pattern will should have a multiple lobes. And due to the pre presence of the multiple lobes, 
and there is no terminal impedance means the radiation pattern will be a bi direction not only in the forward direction similarly this type of antenna is also having if i if i say this and this long wire antenna having a wavelength greater than lambda by 2 means its radiation pattern will be the having a multiple lobes and all lobes and this these lobes will always in the is also in the forward direction also in the backward direction due to the absence of the terminal impedance now you will see that the this angle this is the apex angle you can say uh, theta or alpha you can you can say anything this angle mainly determines the radiation pattern will get uh, means the power which is in the forward direction gets added or not added so this angle mainly determines in this one if i say alpha is that angle which helps in determining the addition of b plus the power radiation in the this direction and this direction in is in the same orientation then these power will get added up in the forward direction and similarly this power will get added up in the backward direction so we will see the overall radiation pattern of this type of antenna will be like this one these two lobes means b and b b plus b dash will get added up and this d plus d dash lobes will get added up and this a and this is a dash and this is c dash and this is c they both are means overall radiation means the maximum rate power radiated in the these two direction so this type of antenna is known as the bi directional antenna and this one is the bi direction antenna because uh, as we direction pattern of the wave treatment when it is fed with a 180 degree phase shift 180 degree phase difference means the if i say the the current which is i am providing this is alpha is i and the current which is i am providing in this direction will be in the out of phase with the in the with the first one so now i have already told you if i want to have a unique uh, unidirectional radiation pattern so if i want to have a unidirectional radiation pattern but so there should be a presence of presence of terminal impedance so if i say this v shape of v type of antenna is this we this long wire antenna is terminated with a impedance matching uh, terminal impedance so they will provide the radiation pattern in the forward direction only and this also will provide the radiation uh, uh, this also will give the signal in the forward direction and this all this antenna will also give the signal in the forward direction so you will see that this angle mainly alpha is the angle between these two if i say the radiation pattern this of b lobe and this a lobe is in the same orientation and the same phase same direction then these power in the a dash and the power in the b dash gets added up means if i say this is a b and if i say this is a dash so these both will get added up and this this a and b dash these are will add as a minor lobes okay yeah. so this is a major lobe as you can see that there is a presence of imp terminal impedance means there is no radiation in the backward direction and there is a presence of imp terminal impedance means there is no radiation in the backward direction that's why overall in the overall radiation pattern of this type of antenna does not have a backward radiation that means the overall radiation pattern is the uni directional so to, to improve the directivity of the to improve the directivity of the v type of antenna these antenna can also be added in the can also be placed in the array form means if i say this is a one of the antenna v type of antenna and another antenna it's get aligned in the in the same direction means so this is a array of v antenna so means it will increase the 
directivity of the overall antenna and their antenna directivity will get any time there will be a multiple lobes minor, minor lobes will be there because there is no present there is a absence of a terminal impedance when there is a absence of terminal impedance means the radiation pattern will be the pi directional so advantages of v type of antenna means they can be used for both transmission and the reception and it is a low cost antenna and provides a multi band operation means this type of antenna can work in uh, in multiple can have a multiple frequency of operation and this disadvantage of this type of antenna it provides a strong minor lobes means the minor lobes have a maximum energy and a disadvantage the resonant type of resonant v type antenna in hf band have a narrow bandwidth yagud antenna and another type of antenna that is known as the yagud antenna this will discuss in the today's lecture and this yagud antenna is mainly used commonly used for the tv reception over in the many few years ago and this is a popular and easy to use type of antenna and it is mainly famous for its high gain and directivity the frequency range when it is used in the it is used for the tv reception means the frequency range in which the yagu antenna work that is in the range of 30 megahertz to 3 megahertz that is which belongs to the vhf and the uhf band so what is the yagu antenna first we will see that the figure of the yagu antenna in the figure you will see that there is a stand over which antenna is placed and this is wire which is connected to the uh, tv terminals or providing a source to this one and the this current source is provided to this type of antenna and this is known as the folded this can be a folded dipole antenna generally it is used as a uh, used is folded dipole antenna or half wave dipole antenna means the main power which is provided main current which is provided to the this type of antenna so this is known as the active element and some metallic rods is also present in the forward in the front of the uh, this active element these are known as the directors and you will see here that the each director length gets decremented with respect to its previous one means the, the length of the director is less than the lambda byte and this less than the active element and this director length is also less than the its previous one this director length is also less than its previous one so this and there is another element that is a reflector this is a another metallic rod which is placed behind the active element that is the reflector clear so in if i if i say this word is uh, this antenna is placed in the this as a two dimensional figure so this one is the active element or driven element it is known as also active element or driven element and these are the directors and the the another antenna which is placed or at the metallic rod which is placed behind the active element that is a reflector and these are the directors so you will see here that main core source is provided is to the this driven element so how its work you will see here that so you will see that this is active element and these are the 
the source mainly which is provided to the this uh, this antenna that is uh, active known as active element these are the known as the also known as the parasitic elements and this is also a parasitic elements so this yagud antenna consists of has a dipole that is the main radiating element the for the parasitic elements are added which are not directly connected to the driven element they are they are spaced apart with the active element the parasitic element these parasitic elements pick up the power from the main dipole and re radiate it in the direction clear the phase in which in such a phase in such a these means the spacing between the each directors or the space you can say the spacing between the parasitic elements and the spacing between the active element the parasitic elements mainly help in the addition or determines the phase if the spacing in such a way that the phase is get add, gets added up means the power will be in the power in the forward direction will be more and if the phase is not in the means the power will be less in the forward direction the phase in such a manner that it affects the property of the rf antenna causing the power to be the focus in one particular direction removed from the others so in this way you will see that the signal is reinforced in some directions and cancel out in in other direction that all depends on the amplitude and the phase of the current that is introduced in the parasitic element the amplitude and the phase of the current which is introduced which is induced in the parasitic manner how this current is induced because they are sp spaced apart with the active element so the current is get is induced if the current get induced if in the, is in the same direction or same phase the current in the that direction will get added up and if the, in, if the current which is induced uh, in is in the opposite direction or uh, opposite phase the current in that direction get subtracted up and it is all dependent upon the what length and the spacing between them i have already told the length and the spacing that determines the amplitude and the phase of the current which is induced in the parasitic element you will see here if i say if i say the current which is provided through this direction to this active element provides a this if i say if i individually provide this antenna uh, this dipole gives us current source so this individual antenna ha have a radiation pattern in the of by direction means the radiation pattern will be in this direction so you will see here that this spacing uh, the spacing between these two this element this part parasitic elements get get excited by the radiation coming from in this direction and this also will get if i say the current which is induced in this in this parasitic element is in the opposite direction will be in the spacing in such a way that the these are get in the opposite direction so the wave uh, the current which is gets cancelled out the current which is uh, the direction which is coming in this direction and the it all it also produces a radiation pattern in this direction so overall radiation uh, the the signal which is coming from in this direction gets reflected back into the forward direction means the if i place the reflector behind the driven element you will see that the the radiation coming from in this direction from this direction will get reflected back to the forward direction means this wave will get reflected back into the forward direction so that's why this reflector helps in providing the helps in providing the directivity to the yagiuda antenna directivity to the yagiuda antenna clear okay? and this director will also gets also helps in providing the directivity to the yaguda antenna 
So these are driven element. The driven element which is having a to which main power is applied, it is normally a half wave dipole or the full wave dipole. Another one is the reflector. This reflector will generally have a one reflector. In mean Jaguar 19, generally have a one reflector, and this is always placed behind the driven element. Its length is somewhat greater than the driven element, and the director element which is placed in front of the driven element, it is in the direction of the maximum sensitivity. Each direction, each director will add up around one dB of gain in the forward direction. Although this level reduces the maximum number of means if i say the number of reduce number of directors if i increase the number of director it means the gain can also be increased but that is up to a limited number so in order to make the unit additional antenna additional road elements are placed on either side of the dipole antenna these elements have no electrical connection with the dipole that, that is known as the they are known as the parasitic element so, if I want to design a Yaguda antenna, if I have to do the uh, length, length and spacing between the spacing between the active element and parasitic element and and spacing between the parasitic elements and length of length of active and parasitic elements determines the overall radiation pattern of the of the yaguda antenna so to design, if I to design a uh, Yaguda antenna, let means if I say this is a Yaguda antenna, this is a directors, this is a reflector, this is a driven element. Or you can say dipole, and these are the directors that is D1, D2, and D3. If I say this is a main active element, that is A1. If I say this is a reflector, so mainly if I say the length of the reflector should be that is R1 should be one uh, the designing length is the equal to 152 upon my frequency that frequency should be in the megahertz and the resulting will be the meter and the driven element length should be a formula that is 143 by f first director length is the 137 by f second director length is the 134 by f if i say the third director length third director length is equal to the 97.5 percent of percent of previous that is if i said this is d2 of length of director 2 that is equal to 97.5 percent of 134 by f so the each director length get reduced up between uh, with the previous and by the 2.5 percent means the length of the successive director should be reduced by 2.5 percent and the spacing which determines the phase of the uh, induced currents the spacing between the reflector and the dipole should be a 2.25 of lambda and the spacing between the director and the director and the dipole is the 0.13 lambda and the spacing between the director and the director should be 0.13 lambda so from these formulas we can design the yagud antenna at a, at any particular frequency so the applications of the Yaguda antenna is the mainly used for the TV reception and it is mainly used where the single frequency operation is needed. So today we have discussed about the long wire antennas and the Yaguda antenna. 
the book which I have referred for preparing this slide that is antennas for all application by the uh, by the JD cross and antennas wave propagation by the Shivam Gupta. Thank you.